Yeah, uh, growing up, Richard, ano eh, my parents had a bad, um, bad relationship growing up. Um, there were many fights na kita mo kisigawan. Eventually, you know, batu na onte. There was even a point that they were already pra- thinking about separating, but para na punta lang sila sa community, and that's why nagkaayos yung parents ko. Uh, growing up, it was just like that. My parents were fighting a lot, and yeah, uh, my parents were fighting a lot. Had a very rough childhood because my dad and I didn't have a good relationship. Um, yun, so it was really painful growing up and uh, when I was I, I grew up in a family business my family business was in construction but yeah and my mom was working so parang mag ako lagi so yeah I, I spent most of my time with my grandparents and that's where I really learned about relationships etc etc bitbit ako ng lolo ko basically wherever he went Uh, yeah, and I, I guess the most traumatic thing that I experienced when I was young, two things was I found out that I was born with one kidney. So parang eventually I had to stop doing sports when I was in high school or uh, high level contact sports because I was playing football when I was younger. I was playing soccer. So I was a varsity. Ganyan. But if I want to do it like college onwards, it was going to be very tricky because sobrang na contact sports. So yun, so um and I guess last thing is that yeah I, I was molested when I was young. So some of the things that uh, have happened to me when I was uh, younger. That was my childhood. <laughs> wow. So you mentioned sir kanina na your parents are uh na uh, parang may problems with your parents. So para you po in overcome as J Paul Hernandez na Uh, go through your problem with parents. Well, number one, with like every time there's a marital issue with your parents, wala kang power dun eh. It's it's really them eh. And they have to really work it out. Uh, it was hard. I mean, don't get me wrong. For many years, I really had a hard time. And when I was already in my 20s, I, I really struggled. So I had to be coached and counseled a lot. Because of trauma, and these are things that a lot of people I've seen in my life that they don't deal with. Akala nila wala lang, but but you know when you grow older or you are already in that hustle moment, traumatic issues or traumatic histories come back to bite you. If you don't deal with it at a young age, it's you're gonna self sabotage or you will just won't have that. Alam mo yung parang Um, that mamba mentality, that that extra drive, because there's something inside you that is not working. Uh, so you know, but most especially the most powerful thing that changed in our family is is God. Talaga, dumating para na kilala kami sa community, sa Catholic community ganyan. And my parents got back together uh, slowly when I was younger, when I was um, in my teenage years. I also met God. And and slowly healing came. It took a while, but what the healing gave us was an opportunity to um, put our put at least for me to put myself in a place where my trauma does not put does not hold me down, and I can fly to the moon. But basically, uh, your past does not define your future, as quoted by Brother Bo and. It is like the episode that we just published with Joy Spring and and yon eh. So so yun talaga eh na it's taking it's maturing in God and in life and knowing that whatever your past was does not define you. Yes, it's a part of your life, and that's why I can share it to you very like <laughs> casual sa sa podcast mo bro. And and just to you know whoever your listeners are, I know they have issues in their family. And, and yun eh, parang kaya ngayon talaga, honestly, Richard, when I, you just, I'm so happy right now because every time I get to talk about that, that my life today is such a blessing. That people don't know that I went through so much trauma and 
And I just want to say that because it's possible, not just for me, but for everyone, that there is grace, there is a blessing, there is opportunity and abundance for everybody. You just have to want it and open yourself up to it. Wow. So, parang ang nag-save po talaga sa inyo is si God. And, um, in-face niyo po yep. yung, ano, yung fear niyo. Your, uh, your traumas para mahalaan ko. So, sa ano naman yeah, po? Yeah, yeah. Sa, na sabi niya rin po kanina, may uh, isang video po. Uh, may isang video po kanina. So, pa- paano niyo po na deal for you na may ano ko, parang isa lang yung video ko. So, medyo limited yung mga, pa- yung mga magagawa. So pa- paano niyo po na deal with it? Oh man, it was actually the, one of the hardest things I had to deal with. I had to deal with the truth that I I was uh I was sorry, sorry. I was believing in a lie that I wasn't complete. That there was always something wrong with me. So that was the lie in my head. That was so when I was younger like high school, college and early 20s sinira ako yung buhay ko, umiinom, party, girls, ganyan. Because I felt that I was worthless. That ito na lang yung buhay ko kasi nga may kulang ka eh. And so syempre parang pahiya ka, pride mo because you, you, you were someone but then you were limited because of a genetic thing. Um, but slowly, you know, uh, I, I had to embrace it. It took a while to heal. Number one, it was hard to forgive myself eh. I was angry at myself for something I did not do. You were just angry at the situation. So you, you, you dealing with it, forgiving yourself, forgiving the situation, uh, uh, um, forgiving, you know, getting mad at God, forgiving him. And it took a while. It took me until I was, th- uh, was like four years ago, I think 29, when I started taking charge. And then now when I started my CrossFit, rebuilding my body, rebuilding myself and, and and now I'm stronger than ever of medyo humina nung pandemic kasi hindi makapagbuhat lagi pero yun eh it took a while eh. it took a wahala ko okay na pero it there was there were a lot of remnants of issues kasi nga eh pag hindi mo din deal with talaga nagkaka-issue akala mo okay ka na but you really you, I had to really face it head on and started declaring truths that, that you know number one, I was not kulang I was I am complete I am not a loser. I am strong, and 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 just had to rewire the truths in my head and started to believing it eventually, and started believing that I was a winner. Wow. So ano na parang inabana niyo po talaga yung uh, pangyayari niyo. So ano po yung mga nararamdaman niyo? Niyo parang ano po ba yung pagkakaiba na wala isa lang yung PD or Well, basically, uh, two kidneys. We have two kidneys to filter out every in, everything we intake, eh? like food, drinks. So, fini filter niya yan. So, ako basically, uh, isa lang filter ko, except nag extra large siya guman yan. So, I have no left kidney. So, basically, pag in ultrasound daw, it's just blank space to go. <laughs> uh, wala, talagang wala siya. So, so, yun. So, of course, I have to be extra careful, especially when I grow older. That's why I really started eating better, working out. I mean, I don't eat perfectly, but I had to really love myself um, because I had so many dreams. And and it just came to my mind when my son was born, like, boy, um, if you have crazy dreams, but you're dead because you're unhealthy, it's eh, wow. So... Why not take care of yourself so that you can fully enjoy your dreams coming true when you get older? 